Okay, we're back here live at theCUBE. We're here live in New York City for Big Data NYC. That's hashtag Big Data NYC on Twitter or LinkedIn. We're going to have some crowd chats this week. This is theCUBE. This is our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. We are here for Big Data Week in New York City. Also, Strata Conference right behind us and Hadoop Worlds. Uh, kicking off and ending day one. They're all schmoozing the booth duty. I'm John Furrier, I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante. And Clint Sharp from Splunk is back on theCUBE uh, here in New York. We had him on in Vegas, you had your user conference. Clint, welcome back to theCUBE. Thanks, John. So, um, uh, Splunk, a lot of positive articles came out of your uh, uh, event. Obviously, we had so many videos, we can't even count. But uh, <laughs> you guys are redefining big data, and I had, I had in my ending segment, I kind of was throwing the, the, the big idea vision that you guys could be the next Google. Uh, in terms of the way you're handling it, because because one, your product is so extensible and people are using so many use cases around big data that you've never seen before. So I want to get your perspective on that. And also, I was very impressed with how many happy customers you guys have. I mean, like the Cube interviews were with real customers are all happy with your product. I mean, my favorite quote was, Splunk has liberated us with our data. So so that speaks to the business value conversation happening here. So, so tell us you know, how your big data strategies, it's just kind of like the boat's pointed down the river and you guys are just flowing down. What's the story? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think we were big data before it was cool. I mean, I, I think all the vendors say that, right? But uh, we were out doing real customer success and we built the whole business on real customer success, which is how can I go and give customers uh, what they're looking for in terms of enabling technology to make their lives better. We started in IT. Um, and we're, we're working to break ourselves out of that, that mold now. I think Hunk is a great foray into that. Uh, but we started with IT and we started with making uh, their lives better. And I, I came from a customer, so I, I, I sort of lived the experience. And when you're working all day, every day, to try to troubleshoot tough IT problems, just being able to get to the root of it very quickly, uh, we let people go back to their families sooner and that actually sort of matters. And so I think that breeds a sort of uh, endearment that they have towards us as customer or as, uh, as a vendor customer relationship and it's it's fantastic to be part of it. Dave, what's your take on the, the ecosystem? Obviously when we went to the Splunk Cost is pretty much, you know, their events. It was pretty centric around their value proposition. But obviously when we look out the landscape, this is kind of like uh, you know, this is kind of like the, the Olympics here. It's the combine workout of startups, big vendors all positioning themselves for for essentially being that platform for big data. Uh, what's your take on 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 where Splunk fits in with the opportunity that everyone's putting out there. Well, it's interesting, there. right? So the new businesses, sort of things are, are discreet, everybody's sort of doing their own thing, swimming in their own lane, so to speak, and you're starting to see a, a, a lot of people look at things like Splunk, certainly, you know, Tableau, uh, and, and of course many, many others, obviously the platform guys, and things are starting to get interesting. They're starting to become a, a lot of overlap, and I think Splunk is interesting because you guys, like you said, started before big data was, you know, a term and before it was cool and everybody looked at it and said, it looks at you now and says, oh wow, hot company, multi-billion dollar valuation, oh, we can do that too. Um, so what's interesting to me about Splunk is when you talk to your customers, um, there's a, a real affinity, there's real traction and you've got competitive advantage right now and, you know, not the least of which is you not only moving first, but you're moving fast. So, Clint, I wonder if you could give us the sort of update, what's new with, with Hunk post-conference, because you must have be getting a halo effect from the conference. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure, so we are, um, we are always continuing to, uh, to improve the product. Uh, we are uh, nearing, uh, nearing release uh, uh, very, very soon. And we are taking uh, the, the feedback from Conf, and, and I'll tell you that the, the the majority of the feedback we've been getting over the last, I mean, through the entirety of the beta program, because we've had over 100 customers in the beta program, uh, just running on every distribution of Hadoop and looking at all kinds of uh, different data has really been, A, how do we make the product work as widely as possible across all of these different distributions? Because as, like, as, as much as you'd like to think Hadoop is Hadoop, uh, quite frankly, there's there's compatibility issues between everybody's distribution, so it's it's ironing out uh, all the kinks between working with all the partners that we work with, Cloudera, Hortonworks, MapR, Pivotal, IBM, 
Uh, and then lastly, making it work with all of their specific data, which we've, we've had some really great examples of use cases ranging from claims processing uh, and doing analytics there to you know, your more basic click stream and, and it also deep diving into security. So we've been trying to just make it work as efficiently as possible across all the different types of data our customers are asking for. So just a point of clarification, you mentioned the, the distros you're, you're working with. Are those the only distros you're working with? I mean, I mean anything it's, Apache it's compatible. Ones, but but so Intel? Uh, are they they part of the mix yet? Or yeah, we are. We yet? are. We are talking to them. Uh, they. Uh, we are going to certify uh, at at some point in the near future. We're having those conversations. Just didn't. Uh, oh, okay. So didn't you mentioned the ones that you're currently certified yep. on. And yep. It just uh, it takes a little bit of extra engineering work. Yeah, well, there's, 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 there's six of them, and we, get, we got five done by GA, which I thought was a pretty Herculean QA effort, and now we're, uh, we're going we're gonna to get to the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So a um, lot of startups here. I want to get you guys' take, because you guys now grown up, big company now, you know, still growing, fast-growing <laughs> company, but like, you're not a startup. Um, I want to get your take, Clint, on, you know, take, your, take your Splunk hat off for a minute and put your kind of your, your industry hat on. What's the state of the startup environment here? Because you know, some are saying they're late to the game, all the seats are taken, um, we're in a bubble, <laughs> valuations are out of control. Um, that, obviously, that's the Wall Street Journal, of the, of mostly people in New York who have that opinion. Not Silicon Valley people think it's a never overvalued market. Uh, but the startup ecosystem is really critical, and this is not a consumer bubble. It's an enterprise market, and mostly a lot of big consumer companies use big data, but for the most part, a lot of the people here are enterprise focused. What's your take on the startup ecosystem relative to the horizontal opportunity, not just you know your area, but other other areas? I think. I mean, I think. We are in the start of a revolutionary a revolution for enterprise software in general. I mean, for the last, you know, probably five years. I mean, really since Facebook started, five to ten years ish, focus in the valley around consumer startups and 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 getting a uh, bright new uh, set of candidates in enterprise software and IT related thing. I think is good for for everyone. Um, I think in the Hadoop ecosystem in particular. Uh, I don't think anybody's late to the game. This is such a nascent market, man. I know we're seeing, you know, a, a, a ton of people here in New York to talk about Hadoop at Hadoop World, and inside of this area, it makes it seem like, you know, this is it is a big thing. I'm not denying that it's a that it's it's a huge deal, but you know, we're, we've tapped such a small percentage of what the real market could be for these products that uh, every startup I think has a huge opportunity in front of them. What do, what do customers need to do to get more value? out of what they're doing with Hadoop. What would, what would your recommendations be? Well, so what I, what I hear most from customers is that uh, they've been successful using it as a file system and they've got a ton of data there at rest and that they're struggling to get uh, analytics and visualizations. Obviously, we have a product here to help. There's, there's a lot of other uh, uh, products in the ecosystem uh, as well. And I think that uh, Hadoop doesn't become successful until uh, people are, are being able to point at that report and say, that's, that's, from my, that's from my Hadoop system. I think, we're, I think there are companies, specifically in online services, that are very mature in the Hadoop world, and the rest of the world's just looking for uh, that software that goes and makes it easy for them to use. So give, give us the update again. So you, you, um, uh, uh, Honk has announced, you're in beta. What's the timeline for when this starts getting in customers' hands? Uh, I, I would say uh, it's very, how, how soon is soon? Uh, the uh, very, very, very soon uh, we will be. Uh, this year? Uh, this year, uh, so soon that, that it might, might be before you know it. Now, what do you guys got going at the show? Can you share with us uh, any, any insights, any uh, little previews? Maybe yeah, hints? absolutely. So we've got, we've got Hunk at the booth. So uh, if you want to get a, a, a good view of what the product is and what it does, we've got demoers at the booth ready to show you the product, different use cases. Uh, we've also got Splunk Enterprise at the booth to, to take a look at. So uh, our whole product portfolio is there and, and ready for people to look at uh, just uh, upstairs in the, in the partner pavilion. So um, got to talk about New York City. What's your perspective for folks out there watching? Obviously, a lot of people watch the QR in, in New York. But I mean, but like, why is New York such a big focus for these events around big data? I mean, you see New York is always kind of the, the hub of, of certain kinds of commerce. Why does big data resonate well in New York? Well, I, I mean, obviously, finance has a huge, huge part to do with that, right? Um, and there is, uh, uh, in fact, I, I've met with uh, a couple of our larger financial customers this morning because I happen to be in New York. And when you come to New York, that's that's, that's a good thing to do, right? And so there's, uh, 
these are the guys that with uh, the advent of uh, algorithmic trading and, and other you know, really, really low latency, high data volume types of use cases are generating these, these really big uh, data stores and have need. And also they're the ones who, who stand probably to profit the most from being able to algorithmically understand their, their data the best. Okay, so um, want to get a little bit of an insight of what to expect from you guys here at the show. Sure. So we are uh, we have a big announcement tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned to the PR wire, uh, and we will be uh, uh, we have a session on Wednesday. Uh, I forget the exact time. I think it's around 11 a.m. Uh, where we will be uh, going through and talking about uh, Hunk and our Hadoop story. So uh, we're just really excited to be here and uh, really looking forward to, to getting to talk to some more customers. All right, so what about you? What are you going to be doing? What's your What's your agenda like? Uh, well, give us the details: parties, meetings. Uh, well, focus. so you know, I was I was at uh, I was here at Cloudera's partner event just uh, just upstairs earlier today, and uh, yeah. So after this, uh, I'm I'm going to go over across the street to do the 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 the, the booth drinking, and then off then off to dinner, uh, and then there's going to be uh, I think there's a there's a number of big events that uh, hopefully I will uh, uh, get to partake in. The so Red Sox party. game is on tonight. Q party tomorrow. I, I am I am I'm going to be at the cube party. Awesome. All that's right, a, that's a party. definitive. <laughs> uh, Clint Sharp, we're here at Splunk. We're here live in the cube. We're right back with our next guest live. Early preview here, kickoff session, uh, evening of Monday uh, here in New York City. Big data New York City. Hashtag big data New York City. We're live here inside the cube. We'll be right back.